So you have to write a logic to generate four enable signals depending upon the value at the input address lines as follows. So enable one should be high whenever address is between 0 to 4 KB. Enable two should be high when address is within 4 KB to 8 KB limit. Enable three should be high when address is from 8 KB to 12 KB. And similarly, enable 4 should be high whenever address is within 12 KB to 16 KB. Friends, in this figure, this is a microprocessor which is giving address lines of 16 bits. And this is system bus. So you have to uh, fill this system bus logic and you have to generate 4 enable signals. Enable 1, enable 2, enable 3, and enable 4. Basically, I am expecting you to write the logic for system bus. Through this system bus, processor is able to communicate with these four IPs, IP1, IP2, IP3 and IP4. Now you have to generate these four enable signals, enable 1, enable 2, enable 3 and enable 4, depending upon the value on this address line as we discussed in the problem statement. Friends, you can pause my video here and try to think of its answer. Otherwise, I will let you know its answer. The complexity in this problem statement is, so for example, if you are uh, going to generate enable 1, so there is 4096 addresses. And as we see in the earlier uh, problem statements, in the earlier questions, we only put two combinations and generated enable signals. And that too, the logic was so huge. If there are only two combinations, but now to in, to generate an enable one, there are 4096 combinations of address lines. Similarly, for enable two, there are 4096 combinations that need to be catered to generate enable two. And similarly, for enable three and enable four, there are 4096 uh, uh, combinations of address lines that need to be taken care. And the logic can be huge. Now let me tell you how we resolve this problem. Let us try to generate enable 1 in the first go. And enable 1 should be generated whenever address is from 0 to 4 KB. So total 4096 combinations. Starting address is 16 zeros and address at 4 KB is this one. So you can get this address at 4 KB by simply writing 4 KB is equal to replace 4 with 2 raised to power 2 and 1 KB with 2 raised to power 10. So it becomes 2 raised to power 12. So on the LSB place, you have to write 12 ones. As we know, the address lines are 16 bits, so append 4 zeros at the MSB place. If you see this address range very carefully, the MSB 4 bits are fixed to 4 zeros. Only LSB 12 bits are varying from 0 to 11111. And now you see the address immediately after this 4KB location. It will be 0, 0, 0, 1 and 12 zeros. So that means for this enable 1, the MSB 4 bits are fixed, which are not shared by any other IP. So they are fixed to 0. So enable 1 can be generated like this. Address 15 bar because it is 0. Address 14 bar because 14 bits is always 0, for address 13 it, it should be 0, for address 12 bit it should also be 0. So we need not to take care of the other 12 LSP bits. So this way we can generate enable 1. Now let us see how we generate enable 2. Now the starting address of next 4 KB, it will be 001 12 LSB zeros. And address at 4 KB will be 0001. 12 ones and as I mentioned earlier you can get the address at 8 KB by simply writing 8 KB equal to 2 raised to power 3 because 8 is equal to 2 raised to power 3 into 1 KB is 2 raised to power 10 so it becomes 2 raised to power 13 so you have to write 13 ones at the LSB place and address line is 16 bit so append 3 zeros on the MSB place and now for this enable 2 this 4096 combinations, these MSB bits, 4 MSB bits are fixed to 001. For enable 1, 4 MSB bits were 0000. 000. And for enable 2, MSB bits are 
zero one. So from here you can drive in able to which is address fifteen bar because address fifteen should be zero. Address fourteen bar, address thirteen bar, and address twelve. Similarly, for enable three, the MSB bits will be fixed at zero zero one zero, and for enable four, it will be fixed for zero zero one one. Friends, this way we have implemented all the enable signals by considering only four MSB bits. So the expression of all the enable signals are very simple, and the area requirement is very less. But from here, I want to conclude few things for you. As you saw that we are considering only four MSB bits. We cannot consider all the four zero nine six to generate this enable signal. For example, if you want to generate enable one, we cannot consider four zero nine six combinations the way we did in first and second question. It will require a huge area for implementation. So, if we are considering only four MSB bits, then it has some limitations also. So, for example, if I want this address zero 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 twelve ones to be the part of enable two, so that is not possible here. So, each IP can get address in terms of two raised to power n. So, each IP can get address range in terms of two raised to power n. For example, one KB, two KB, four KB, eight KB. So, for example, for IP one, I can assign four KB, and for IP two, I can also assign thirty-two KB, and IP three, I can assign eight KB, and for IP four, I can assign one KB. So, all the addresses that can be assigned to individual IP will be the power of two raised to power n. No other addresses can be given to these IPs. So, otherwise, the logic for this system bus will become very huge, and which will be. Almost impossible to implement in AC as well as in FPGA designs. So, friends, with this, I am going to wrap up this video, and I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. And if you really like my video, please press the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. And in future, we are going to make many such videos. And to get the notification of all those videos, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Your support means a lot to us.